Algebra 1 9.4d Absolute Value Inequalities with Fraction Equations We can solve inequalities for the absolute value of an equation written as a fraction. Take a look at this. We all know that fractions are just little division problems, right? So this is x plus 3 divided by 2. It's the absolute value of x plus 3 divided by 2, and it says that it's less than a positive 6. We first rewrite it as a conjunction or disjunction. Now, if you don't know the difference between these, you need to see 9.4a, b, but definitely 9.4c, because I explain how to quickly identify the difference between a conjunction or a disjunction. So now we've got negative 6 is less than x plus 3 over 2, and x plus 3 over 2 is less than a positive 6. See? So this is a conjunction. We can tell by that less than sign. This less than sign tells us it's a conjunction. Just make sure the inequality sign is facing the correct direction. So it's facing the positive 6 here. So we want it facing the positive 6 when we turn, take the absolute value bars off. But for the negative 6, we want it to be facing the x plus 3 over 2. So it doesn't matter which way this inequality sign is facing, as long as the large open part, for when it's negative, is facing the x plus 3 over 2, and the small pointy end is facing the negative number, okay, for a conjunction, all right? So as long as the big part is facing it, it doesn't matter which direction it's going. It just has to be facing the correct one, see? So you could write it either way, okay? Just make sure the big part on a conjunction is facing that fraction equation. So now we've got negative 6 is less than x plus 3 over 2, and x plus 3 over 2 is less than a positive 6. We multiply both sides of the equation by the lowest common multiple of the denominator. The lowest common multiple of this denominator is 2. So our LCM is a 2. So we multiply each of the terms, this side of the inequality sign and this side of the inequality sign. Ignore this for now because we're just doing this one. We're going to solve each one separately. So each side of this inequality is mul being multiplied by a 2. And because this is written in fraction form, we can do it as a 2 over 1, can't we? And we do the same thing for this side each side of the inequality is going to be multiplied by 2 over 1, okay? What happens is this 2 up here cancels out that 2, and this 2 up here cancels out that 2. And what do we get when we cancel those out? We get x plus 3 over 1, don't we? And any value as a fraction over 1 is that value. So what ended up happening was we got rid of the fraction. So we canceled out 2 on each side because it was the lowest common multiple, the least common multiple. So now we have negative 6 is less than x plus 3, and x plus 3 is less than positive 6. Okay? I'm going to still do them separately. We see this plus 3, so we know we could subtract 3 from each side and create a 0 pair right here, right? And that's going to give us a negative 9 is less than x, and... We have our zero pair here, taking away 3 from each side because of that plus 3. We isolate the x, and we get x is less than 3. Now we can graph this. Now, because this has the word and, and it's a conjunction, when we graph the solution, it's going to graph as one line section on the number line, right? We learned that in the last video. And because they're not or equal to, then they're not included. So we're going to have an open circle on the negative 9 and an open circle on the 3 with our graphed line showing all the correct values in the solution set. See that? And if we did it in interval notation, it would be parentheses negative 9 to show that it's not included and parentheses 3 to show the 3 is not included, right? In set builder notation, we would have our set braces, and we could put an x and write it in the combined form with the x in the center so that x is greater than negative 6 and x is less than positive 6. Or we could write it in set builder notation as the set of all x such that, that's the bar, x is greater than negative 6 and x is less than negative 6. Okay? So just remember that we can cancel out the denominator. 
by multiplying each side by the least common multiple, the lowest common multiple of the denominator. And remember, if you see the sign heading this way, it's a disjunction because it has a greater than sign, doesn't it? So that's an or, right? So our next video, 9.5a, is going to be about inequalities in two variables. And if you want to go back to 9.4c and learn how to quickly tell between a conjunction and disjunction, there's a link in this video's description, so you can do that. And there's going to be a link for solving conjunction inequalities or disjunction ones. There's going to be ones about there's going to be a link for the absolute value and how to write it and know if it's a negative or positive and how to do that. And there's going to be a link to how to write things in roster or set builder notation. You should know all of these. And if you don't, you definitely need to go back and click on those and watch them really quick. All right. This entire list would be a half an hour of your life, but it could be the difference between a D on a test and an A on a test for a half an hour of your life. Think about that. Wouldn't that be silly? So yes, watch those if you don't understand them. Okay. And watch them twice. Sometimes you watch it the first time and you miss something. Like when you watch a movie, you watch it the second time and you go, oh, I didn't notice he had that. I didn't notice he did that. Okay. All right. We're going to start talking about two variables. I'll see you next video. Bye.